for that 2150 not including the 32 not including the interest we have earned yet we're gonna have to record that interest so this is gonna be a credit this is a debit balance here therefore we need to make it a credit to make it go down so in s8 we're gonna right click and copy we're gonna put that in 012 right click and paste one two three indent that going to the home tab alignment increase indenting putting that credit in Q12 for that 2150 with a negative 2150. The credit will be that interest amount of that 32. I'm going to use the negative sum, the plug form formula to get to that 32 by putting in Q13 a negative SUM. Double click that sum function, highlighting those uh, cells with uh, values in them, <laughs> giving us the 32 credit. Then we're going to put the credit uh, account, which is going to be interest receivable. So I'm sorry, interest revenue, interest revenue, revenue account. We earned revenue. So here's the revenue account it has a credit balance. We're going to make it go up doing the same thing to it. Another credit. So I'm going to copy S18, the revenue, interest revenue and copy. Put that in 013, right click and paste. One, two, three. We're going to then indent 013, go into the Home tab, Alignment, Increase Indenting. Then we can post this out. Cash first, so cash up top, send U5, going to double click on it because something's in it, go to the end of it, plus point to that 2182 and enter. Notes receivable for C Company here is going to go here in U8, double click, go to the end of it plus that 2150 and enter so it goes down to zero then the interest revenue is going to be down here interest revenue has a credit balance we're going to double click on it because something's in it go to the end of it plus point to that 32 bringing revenue up putting us back in balance and bringing net income up as well so increasing uh, the income of course by the interest revenue earned for the note receivable, taking the notes receivable off the book and recording the cash. Note that this is the same journal entry we would have for accounts receivable, other than we now have to record the revenue earned for the interest revenue. Not because we made a sale, but for the loan, for us renting the money out in essence. Okay, next transaction. We're gonna say on 11.5, received, pay received payment uh, of principal and interest from MU company. So that was the 8850 plus this 221 that happened on 115. So I'm going to say 115. We can say is cash affected. But we're going to say yep, yeah, we got paid again for the note receivable. Cash has a debit balance. We're going to make it go up doing the same thing to it. Another debit. Right click on that cash and copy. We're going to put that up top in 015. Right click and paste. 123. The amount will be for it's going to be this 8850 plus the 120 or the 221. This equals the 8850 plus the 221. So there is that. And then we're going to have the notes receivable. I'm going to scroll back over uh, note receivable for MU here. We're going to credit that amount. So I'm just going to copy that, right click and copy, put that right underneath in 016, right click and paste 123, then indent, home tab, alignment, increase the indenting, amount then in the credit section, Q16 for 8850, we're going to put a negative 8850, and there we have it. Now the difference between those two will be this interest. 221 so we could put the credit 221 there i'm going to use our negative sum or plug formula so we'll say negative sum double click that sum function highlight those four cells with two numbers in them the difference between them being that 221 the 8850 plus the 221 equals the debit of 9071 that then will be revenue interest revenue so we're going to copy a revenue 